Hello all, my name is Reshma Rajana Dohar, Assistant Professor at AIDS Department. So today we are discussing the topic is on problem solving and programming too. So these are the contents which we are discussing here. Unit 3 functions and modules. So contents are need for functions and functions in that the definitions and calls. So why we are using functions or the need for the functions. So first point is the fundamentals of Python functions including what they are, their syntax, their primary parts, return keywords and the major types. So a function is a collection of related assertions that performs a mathematical, analytical or an evaluative operations. So a collection of statements called Python functions return the particular task. So Python functions are simple to define and essential to intermediate level programming. So the exact criteria hold function names as they do variable names. So the goal is to group up a certain often performed actions and define a functions so we may call the functions and reuse the code contained within it uh, within different variables rather than repeatedly creating the same code block for different input variables so user defined and built-in functions these are nothing but the two main categories of functions in python then it will helps to maintain the programming consists uniqueness and the well structured so next slide is nothing but advantages of python functions or the advantages of functions in a python so first one is by including a functions we can prevent repeating the same code block repeatedly in a program so next one is python functions once defined can be called many times and from anywhere in a program if our python program is large in size it can be separated into numerous functions which are simple to track so the key accomplished of python functions is we can return as many output as we want with a different arguments we can pass a different arguments here so our next slide is syntax of python functions so here we are declaring the simple thing syntax for the python function as an example format so first we are defining our function def function name as an parameters we are passing here so this is nothing but the code block for this particular syntax then the next point is the following elements make up to define a functions as seen above so first point is the beginning of a function header is indicated by a keyword called def then second point is the function name is the functions name that we can use to separate it from others we will use this name to call the function later in the program so in python name function must follow the same rule as naming the variables so we pass an arguments to the defined function using the parameters however they are an optional format so the functions header is termin terminated by an colon so we can use a documentation string called doc strings in the short form to explain the purpose of the function the next topic is the body of the function so is a made up of a several valid python statements the intendation depth of the whole code block must be the same usually by using a four spaces so we can use a return expressions to return a value from an defined function so example of a user defined function so we will define a function that when called will return the square of the number passed to it as an argument format. So here the code. So example of Python code for a user defined function. First we are defining a function as a square in a num number. So this function computes the square of the numbers. It will return the values then the object we are calling as a square of 6. Then printing the value the square of the given number is and their object is called so ob output about this code is the square of the given number is 36 uh, the next point is in calling a function so a function is uh, defined by using the def keyword 
and giving it a name specifying the arguments that must be passed to the function and and structuring the code block so after a function fundamental framework is completed we can call it from anywhere in the program so the following is an example how to use a function uh, so this is this is nothing but the code regarding it so example python code for the calling a function first we are defining our function as a function in the string format so this prints the value of the length of the string it will return the values in the format of length of the string then we are calling the functions as we defined so here the first one is the length of the string function and second one is the length of the string in python function so here the output our regarding this is length of the string function is 9 and again the length of the string python is 6 Thank you.